Good afternoon, I'm Keith Armour. I'm the Education Homework Support Manager down here at the main library. Well, um, I'm going to give you some resources for next week because next week is National Chemistry Week. It runs from October the 17th all the way until October the 23rd. We've got some great resources. We also have some YouTube videos that are very good um, from, the, from the library. And we're going to visit the national organization that puts this together. And they have some really great activities as well. And then we're going to talk about a virtual event that's coming up too. So let's go ahead and dive in. I do want, uh, since Indigenous Peoples Day was earlier, I'm going to show you one um, of our blog posts, recent, uh, recent blog posts that lists a whole bunch of um, resources for that. We're going to take a quick dive in that and then we'll get right into chemistry, especially chemistry for kids. All right, uh, you should all be seeing our website, senseilibrary.org. I went directly to this uh, blog post that was put up on Monday of this week um, because it was also uh, not only Columbus Day, but also Indigenous Peoples Day. And um, Joe there wrote a wonderful blog post about 13 resources. So we've got Turn to Reflection into Action here, um, which is happening the second, uh, the hosting a second spring celebration. You can find out more about that event. A More Truthful History, um, you can click right there and then Explore and Celebrate. And all of these are some really great books about indigenous people and Native Americans. All right, I will highly recommend They're There. My book club uh, a couple of years ago read that book. It is a very, very good book, especially about um, Native Americans uh, in present day. Um, so here's a great resource. I'll make sure that I put the link for this um, so you can explore this and uh, get some more information and read some really great books about indigenous people. All right, so I'm going to switch right now. I bookmarked a whole bunch here. This is from uh, the um, uh, American Chemical Society. And the American Chemical Society actually hosts um, uh, the National Chemistry Week. And once again, the week is uh, starts on the 17th and it runs all the way until October the 23rd. And I'm gonna make sure I put a link uh, for you for this website, because it's got so many great things on here. They've got a little welcome. It says, you can discover science here. They've got some experiments as well here. So let's just go to slime. And you have a demonstration here. That's a YouTube demonstration. Let me play just a little bit. Uh, today we're going to do this neat activity where you can take some simple stuff that you might have at home and use it to make slime. You don't need much, you just need some stuff called a borax, which you can get at the store, glue that you might have around the house, some water, and a popsicle stick. Now let's get started. Alright, so very, very easy and you can even print out exactly what you need for each one of these experiments. So you could be prepared for next week to do at least one or two um, with your kids or your grandkids. If you're taking care of your grandkids, uh, you can have some of these experiments already ready and the materials on hand. And all of the activities that are here on this particular website are, are things that you probably will find around the house. This one's a really great one, poke but don't soak where you actually learn how uh, the chemical and the plastic is helping uh, with that. Um, let's just look at that. Let's look at energy on the move real quick. So here is what, uh, here's what to do. And they'll tell you what to do, what to expect, what's happening. And the heat is the form of energy. What else could you try? So it gives you some different examples and then what to expect from there as well. And then once again, you have, you can download the entire thing and you'll see what you need. And look, cold water, hot water, a disposable plastic water bottle, uh, plastic cups, food coloring, some things that you usually would have around the house. So that's some of the experiments. Now, of course, they have some games that would work on any kind of computer or also any kind of mobile device. You've got uh, Bugs on the Run, 
outer space molecule chase, that's hard for me to say, and then some other things down here too. And if you're a classroom teacher, here's some science activities for teachers as well. So if I go all the way back up to the top page, I of course can look at each one of these separate videos here by clicking here. I can go directly to all of the experiments here. And they've got some more here as well. So you've got Mentos and that Diet Coke. It's always a fun one to do, but make sure you do that one outside. And then you've got uh, Secret Science of Stuff. So some really great things here on this particular website, some games, and then of course the Science ABCs are here as well. So that's all brought to you by the American Chemical Society. And uh, they put this on um, and all of these activities online will stay online well past uh, next week when it's National Chemistry Week. Uh, another organization, and that's this one right here, is the National um, Infor Informal STEM Education Network. And they have put together some activities also for National Chemistry Week. And if you scroll down, and I'll make sure I put this post on here as well, you have some experiments right here. Here's a battery stack one. Let's click right on here. And once again, you've got, um, you've got the audience. You find out this is where, uh, this is uh, the ages that would find this fascinating from seven on up. And it's Science and Society. You can download all of the files. So you have everything there. You, of course, can jump and browse related resources. And then you have different pictures of the experiment. And then you've got the training video and the objectives. And then you have all of the downloaded files down here as well. So there's some really great activities on each one of these, um, each one of these websites. And you've got one right here. And this is exploring electroplating. And once again, there you have the video. You can make it a little bit bigger and you can get the big idea, the learning goals, and you can even download all of the files for it too. So this is something if you're doing homeschooling or if you just have the kids over uh, or they're bored on a rainy day or, oh, heaven forbid, they're quarantining um, or the grandkids are coming over for the weekend. These are some great activities to really uh, pique their interest and get them really interested in science and of course the world of chemistry. So definitely check that out. There's just so many things here. Now, I already went ahead and did a simple search using our catalog. So I went to the top part and I just typed in chemistry for kids and it came back with 16 results. And here is uh, chemistry for kids here and there. Now. I can click on this right here, and it's gonna tell me several things about this book. Well, it was written in 2020, and then it's going to tell me some other uh, subjects and genre that it's part of, all right? And this is really good. This is uh, from a critic. It's really for grades three through eight, um, and there's just gonna be some great science experiments on there. Now, I'm gonna jump real quick back and I'm gonna to go to the library's website and go to books and media and go to stream and download because both those books in our catalog say that they are not there. Well, they're all taken already, but I'm gonna to go to Hoopla and I'm gonna go right over here to browse and I have to make sure it loads all in and I'm gonna to go to my Hoopla and then I'm gonna click right here to chemistry, I'm gonna say chemistry, there we go, science chemistry. And there's all sorts of books here, but I'm gonna say chemistry for kids. Chemistry for kids. And there's the book. There's the same book. The one thing about our catalog, um, it picks up all of our ebooks from Libby and Overdrive. It does not pick up books from Hoopla. So, and remember with Hoopla, everyone, everyone in, that has a library card with Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library can get this book. 
So all you have to do, now it's an electronic book, but you can borrow it. That's what's great about Hoopla, but it will not show up in our catalog. So right here, it's not showing. You can place a hold here. And if I go back one page there, you can go to the e-copy book and I click here. And it tells me that um, one copy, zero hold, so I could place a hold. But a lot of times when you find a book like this, I always suggest for people to go to Hoopla, that's part of the library system, and type in that title or type in something that's similar and see if we have that book that you can instantly take. And so if you're looking for other experiments, other chemistry experiments for kids, this one's full of them, okay? But it's in Hoopla, and you wouldn't necessarily see that in our regular catalog. So I just wanted to point that out. Going back to our list, let me see if I can get back to my list. There we, there we go. All right, I'm going to go back one more page. And you've got chemistry for every kid, and that's 101 easy experiments that work. I know as a former elementary teacher, chemistry and any type of experiment really just captures kids, um, especially the younger ones when they're starting to think about things that they might want to do later in life. So all these activities here are just a great way to keep them interested in science. Um, and that's girls and boys. Um, so definitely get them into science. And once again, there's a lot of resources here. There's 16. But if you find a book that you don't know, it, that you really want right now, and you don't want to wait for the place, place a hold, go to Hoopla and type it in and see if you can actually find that book there. All right. So um, I'm going to wrap up by going to one more resource. I'm going to go back to the website and I'm going to go to research and then I'm going to go to homework help. Click here. And this is a long list of different resources for homework help, but we're going to go all the way down here to World Book for Kids. Now, once again, this has a little library card next to it. So when you're outside the library, you're going to have to need a library card and your pen. If you don't have a library card, come by our libraries. We'll get you a library card really quickly. So we click on this. And of course, there's um, that Perry lady. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, there she is. So you could read all about it. And they always roll, they always scroll things around here. So if you have a very inquisitive child uh, that wants to learn something new every day, this is a great place to start anyway. But I do want to draw your attention right down here to science projects. If you click right there, then you're going to see there's all sorts of different science projects. So if your kids, if your kids or your grandkids or your nieces or nephews get really excited about the one experiment that you do, try to come up with another one. And this is a great place to do it. Uh, you can do science you can use right here and effects of temperature on microwave popcorn. That's very important. And you'll see that these are the things that you'll need. And here is the introduction. And you can even listen to the introduction. And then you can click on the word microwave and it's going to tell you exactly what a microwave is. And then it tells you about matter and heat. And then, of course, here's the procedures of what you're going to do. And then there's even discussion questions that you can ask. And that's such a great way, especially if you've made microwave popcorn for the grandkids or the kids. And they're like, well, wait, why didn't this all work out? Why did this burn? And you have that terrible popcorn smell in your house. Well, this is a great experiment to have with them because it's ready uh, to go. So you don't even have to download anything. You just have to get on your computer. So that is another resource, um, World Book for Kids. Um, they always rotate here, but this little section right here, that science projects, they just have a world of things and I'm, I'm using, of course, the world book. <laughs> we use use of the world again, but it has some really great experiments in each one of these categories. OK, 
Now, I do want to, before I go, I do want to point out, and I've moved everything so much that I'm going to find it. There it is. We are going to have, the library is going to have a, a virtual National Chemistry Week demonstration. It is going to be next Tuesday, um, October the 19th, and it's going to be from 7 until 8. Uh, we're going to celebrate that National Chemistry Week, and we're going to be doing it live on our Cincy Library Facebook page. Um, so there's no reason at all to, you don't have to register, you don't have to get the kids all in the car, you just have to log in and uh, bring up your Facebook page and you can watch the demonstrations that are on there. And maybe you're like, well, I've got something to do on Tuesday, I can't do that. Well, we've got you covered there too, because I'm gonna go back one page and scroll down right here at the very bottom of all of our web pages, you've got all of the social media and I'm gonna click on YouTube. Click YouTube and it comes directly to the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library and I'm gonna click on playlists. When you click on playlists, look what shows up right away, National Chemistry Week. And there is actually a total of six different videos for you. And I'm gonna let these play, I'm gonna let it play just, in, uh, just for the introduction here part. Hi, I'm Ed Escudero representing the local section of the American Chemical Society for National Chemistry Week. We hope you're going to be able to experiment with a chemist. Welcome back. In this demo, we're going to... And these were just made over the last several uh, days. And um, Ed is actually a wonderful um, uh, instructor. Um, he is a retired, like he said, he was a retired teacher and um, he does great experiments. There's even one experiment in here that doesn't quite work out, which is actually a great teaching tool as well. So there are six of them here. And once again, you just go to our webpage. I'm gonna go back to 13 resources and you scroll all the way down when you scroll down, you scroll all the way down to our webpage, go to YouTube, the YouTube icon, takes you directly to the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library's webpage, web channel or network, I don't know what it's called, but if you go right here to playlists, then you'll see these are the videos uh, that, uh, that are updated. And I think they might have one more, I'm not sure, but there are six on here and you could actually play all of them. So that's another resource you have as well. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to click out and tell you a few more things and we'll call it a day. Well, all right. Are you ready for National Chemistry Week, which starts next week? Um, there's a lot of activities, uh, wonderful videos that were shot uh, here at the library that has six wonderful experiments. Um, and we really appreciate the retired chemistry teacher helping us out there. The resources that you can find online, um, just by a click of the button, you can find some great science activities um, through those books. Don't forget, if you don't see it in our regular catalog, check Hoopla, and you might be able to get it instantly as well, just like that chemistry book. Um, also, World Book um, uh, for Kids has those wonderful science experiments right there. And the thing that I always forget about when it comes to Chemistry Week is that um, baking and cooking is using chemistry. So you could do one of those experiments and then you could gather the kids, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, you could gather them back and say, okay, let's do an experiment that we can eat and then go ahead and make cookies and talk about the science that goes in to making some of their favorite treats as well. So those are some great activities for uh, Chemistry Week. Definitely the national organization has all of those things that you can just print out, um, but don't forget about the library. All right, I'll see you next week for another Lunch Alert and you have a good weekend. All right, 